Russians sent 70-year-old T-55 tanks to attack Robotyne, it ended badly. After a brutal four-month defense against a Russian force ten times its size, the Ukrainian army's 110th mechanized brigade last Friday finally quit the ruins of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine, just northwest of Russian-occupied Donetsk, according to Forbes. The 110th brigade fought until it ran out of ammunition. It is noted that sensing weakness as the 110th Brigade retreated, the Russian army attacked in several sectors along the 600-mile front of Russia's two-year wider war on Ukraine. But not every Ukrainian brigade is as tired, outnumbered and ammo-starved as the 110th is. Ukrainian forces not only held the line last weekend, they inflicted heavy casualties on the overconfident Russian brigades and regiments, including at least one unit that tried to assault Ukrainian positions in the south in unupgraded 70-year-old T-55 tanks. That unit, apparently from the 42nd Motor Rifle Division, got wrecked as it crossed from west to east, a mile of flat terrain separating Russian lines from positions held by the Ukrainian Army's 65th Mechanized Brigade in Robotyne, one of the larger settlements the Ukrainians liberated last summer. The 65th Brigade threw everything it had at the Russian assault group, which numbered dozens of 41-ton, four-person T-55s, 13-ton MT-LB armoured tractors with room for 13 people, and 13-ton BMP fighting vehicles with space for 11. Firing cluster shells and anti-tank missiles and flinging explosive first-person view drones, the 65th Brigade defeated the attack and exacted some revenge for the men and women of the 110th Brigade who died defending Avdiivka, according to Forbes. As the dust settled, open-source analyst Andrew Perpetua counted all along the front line, 28 damaged, destroyed and abandoned Russian tanks and fighting vehicles. He counted just six damaged, destroyed and abandoned Ukrainian tanks and fighting vehicles.